pro, she's building that shelf, working to keep her elbows in. And then basically she's going to lift up and then cross her ankles. And it's called shoulder pressing pose because she's using the strength of her legs to squeeze her shoulders in to gain strength. So that's shoulder pressing pose. <coughs> From shoulder pressing pose, those of you that have very flexible hamstrings and that feel warm today, you're more than welcome to move into Titibasana. So it's the same way to get into it. So coming down to her squat, lower your hands back behind her, and then building that shelf again. Starting just like she did in shoulder pressing pose, but then extending both of her legs out. And so this one is really, it's the same muscles that you would use for shoulder pressing, but it's really a lot of hamstring flexibility in that one. So you can try it. It's fine if your legs don't get all the way out straight. You're more than welcome to keep the knees bent, and that's something that will come with time. And for both of those, uh, and also, you know, with any of the arm balances, make sure.